right, so we're draining the fuel on this car, um, as you can see here, to get ready to put some ethanol fuel in it. Um, people have often asked, why would you want to use methanol with ethanol? And I think the most important thing to remember um, on these direct injected cars is there's still, even with E85 or full ethanol, there is no way to clean the valves. There's no fuel being splashed on the intake valves like there is on a traditional port injected setup. So by running the methanol and still injecting that into the charge pipe, you're still going to have that valve cleaning effect from the methanol, even if it's not really providing any octane. The other thing is it's going to give you more fuel system headroom as that methanol is its own fuel system, you basically are gonna max out your normal ethanol injection window, but yet you still have more fuel coming in from the methanol. So you should be able to, in fact, make a lot more power with the methanol plus the ethanol than you would on just ethanol alone. Anytime you're working with methanol, you wanna make sure you're using chemical resistant gloves. Uh, methanol is extremely toxic and your skin will actually absorb it. Um, Methanol, if enough is absorbed in your bloodstream, can cause blindness as well as a bunch of other problems. So you definitely don't want to drink it, um, but even more so, you don't want to really even get it on your skin. So wear chemical resistant gloves. These aren't just normal gloves. Um, they're, they're actually chemical resistant. So um, like when you're installing the nozzle, there's some fluid that might drip out, you know, after you, uh, you put it in. Same thing when you're playing with your, your meth solution here, you just want to make sure you're being safe, and the best way to be safe is to wear gloves. Also, wear eye protection. You get this stuff in your eyes, and you're going to the doctor. Um, make sure that you're checking your, checking your methanol nozzles so that you don't end up with a clog, because when you're using this as a fuel source, you definitely can have some problems if you don't have a fail-safe of some kind or um, some way for it to compensate. So by utilizing both ethanol and methanol, we were able to make some pretty decent numbers without being over the edge of what the fuel system on this car can handle. Uh, being that it's direct injected, upgrading the fuel system is very difficult. Um, I, I am monitoring low pressure. Uh, that's pretty important to make sure that you don't starve the DI pump. It's high pressure, but we're doing some pretty serious torque and horsepower. 504 horse and 462 foot-pounds of torque. And look at that power band. It just sits there at 500 forever. So it's pretty, pretty potent machine here in this 2017 WRX. That was, uh, that was with the, the methanol and ethanol. Now if we wanted to look at just the... Where was my run here? So this was with ethanol, or sorry, this is with methanol and then just pump gas and a few less pounds of boost. You can see with the E85 we're able to, to lean it out quite a bit in order to, uh, to get a lot more power. These engines just really like ethanol. Um, but yeah, 
valve should stay really clean. This thing should be really reliable at least. Um, it's a built motor, um, new, brand new motor in this one uh, with the ETS turbo kit. So there you go. Like I said, that's stock DI, uh, stock DI pump, just uh, upgraded, upgraded lift pump. Oh, and this is also on humongous Toyo R888 tires, which um, if you run these, you run a car back to back with R888s on the dyno and you see like a 245 wide normal street tire or these 295 proxy R88s. Um, there's quite a bit of power loss just from running these tires, especially on an all wheel drive car. Um, probably looking at, I'd say honestly upwards of 30 horsepower. So this thing is gonna rip. Anyway, that's my tech tip for today. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe.